वेलकम टू दिस सिलेनियम वेब ड्राइवर ट्यूटोरियल ऑन सिलेनियम माउस हवर एंड क्लिक एंड अदर सिलेनियम माउस एक्शंस लाइक सिलेनियम माउस राइट क्लिक एंड सिलेनियम माउस मूव एट्सेट्रा फॉर सिलेनियम माउस एक्शंस यू कैन यूज एक्शंस एपीआई और एक्शंस क्लास इन सिलेनियम टू डू माउस एक्शंस Hover means place the mouse pointer on a web element without pressing any button. For Selenium mouse hover, you can use move to element method that moves the mouse pointer to the center of that element. Move by offset method moves the mouse pointer from the present position by x and y offsets or distances. For Selenium mouse click or selenium mouse left click you can use the click method there is another pair of methods click and hold method moves the mouse to a web element and clicks in the center of that element then you will have to call the release method to actually release the clicked button right click is called context click in selenium you can right click in selenium using the context click method if you want to double click in selenium java you can call the double click method for drag and drop in selenium you can call the drag and drop method drag and drop method moves to the source web element clicks it and holds it then moves to the target web element and releases the mouse button another way to do drag and drop in selenium web driver is to call the drag and drop by method so this is useful when you don't have any target element it holds the source element and drops it by a x and y offset or distance let me show you the web page for testing in google you can type software testing space and you can go to my blog and on the blog there is a link at the top for demo web page for testing so click on it and on this web page i have implemented some testing elements here so for example here is a menu so this is menu 1 item menu 2 menu 3 has three items item 1 item 2 item 3 and then there is a button that you can double click etc let me now show you selenium mouse events using maxstaff cloud the free selenium framework using java i've created a free account in maxstaff and i logged in and in previous tutorials i created a project and i added a case to it the name of my case is mouse case and the link to this case is in the video description at the bottom so you can actually see this case and run it also now this is the selenium with java case generated by maxstaff so i can modify it so first because we are going to use actions class in selenium i have to import that in selenium with java so i have to write the import statement import or dot open qa dot selenium dot interactions dot actions then the actual code i have to write in the test method so it already has a couple of lines driver dot manage dot window dot maximize to maximize the browser window and driver dot get is the url of the demo web page for testing that i just showed you so first i have to create an actions object from actions class in selenium web driver with java how to create an actions object give the type so type is actions and i am going to call my actions variable as a actions a is equal to new actions 
and we have to give one argument which is the web driver so actions a is equal to new actions driver now i'm going to put another single line comment to show you mouse hover so i want to write the code for mouse hover so mouse hover using selenium web driver java for example i want to click the item 2 of menu 3 so first i have to hover to menu 3 and then hover to item 2 and then click on it hover on menu 3 without clicking any button then hover on item 2 and then click it so first i have to find the web element menu 3 so for that web element and my variable name in the java code is going to be menu 3 is equal to and web driver has the method driver dot find element and the id of that i saw previously is menu 3 so this will find the menu 3 so next is how to handle mouse hover in selenium the move to element of the actions class in selenium can be used for that so actions object is a dot move to element and move to element is an overloaded method so i am just going to use the first one in which i have to just give the target argument so move to element and the target is menu 3 web element and in actions class as i also mentioned in the previous tutorial after every action or a chain of actions we have to call the perform method which actually executes those action or actions now once the mouse pointer is moved to the menu 3 i have to hover to the item 2 i have to find item 2 so web element item 2 is equal to driver dot find element and here also i saw the id previously it is item 2 i'm going to put another single line comment how to perform mouse hover in selenium java now i have to hover the mouse pointer on the item 2 so for that i can call actions object dot move to element and this time the target is item 2 and then i can chain the actions once the mouse is hovering over item 2 call the click method and finally all perform the result is going to show that you click menu 3 item 2 so i need to find the web element result also in order to do the validation so i'm going to write web element result and find it driver dot find element by id and its id is result now since i'm going to do a number of validations so i don't need to uh, repeat the code so for that in this java class i can create my own method so i'm going to create a validate method so private void void means it is not going to return anything and the name of the method is validate so i'm going to give it two parameters first is which element i want to validate i'm going to call it e within this validate method and 
नेक्स्ट वट इज द वैलिडेशन मैसेज एंड नाउ पुट करली ब्रेसिस फॉर द बॉडी ऑफ द कोड सो हियर आई कैन यूज द जे यूनिट एसर्शन एसर्ट डॉट एसर्ट इक्वल्स एंड फर्स्ट आई टू गिव द एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू माई एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू इज द मैसेज and the actual value is that web element dot get text okay now my validate method is ready i can use it in the test method i'm going to put a single line comment assertion for selenium java mouse over element and i have already written the j unit assertion in the validate method so i can just call the validate method any number of times from the other method within the class so validate and first i have to give which element i want to validate so result and what is the message so the message i can copy or i can type from here so this is the message okay the code is complete so selenium testing in this selenium java tutorial save the case compile it case is compiled now i can click on the run button and click run again max staff has started the selenium java case execution and we can see the video also so let me open the video maximize it and play it the so max staff has opened the chrome browser and navigated to the demo web page for testing selenium etc and it has hovered on menu 3 okay it is not showing the full video so i can make the script pause here by putting thread dot sleep maybe 2 seconds now because i am putting thread dot sleep for demo purposes so i have to write here this method test throws interrupted exception and save it compile it and run it max staff is running the case now and i will go to the video and find out exactly what happened so here we can see that the web page actually said you clicked menu 3 item 2 and then the mouse pointer just moved above so this test is complete Let me show you few other mouse actions in Selenium Java using the actions class in Selenium. So right click is available. So for for example I can go to the result element and right click here. So let me implement this. So I already have the result element. So I can just call actions object dot context click and in context click specify the target where i want to perform the context click dot perform next uh, let me show you double click so there is a button here and i can double click on it and it says you double clicked the button so this was 
right click in selenium and now I am going to write the code for double click in selenium java so in order to double click on the button I need to find it web element button is equal to driver dot find element and I can find it by ID and the ID of that button is button now once I have found that I need to double click it so a dot actions object dot there is a double click method and I can specify where I want to double click it it will double click in the center of that button dot perform I should do the validation also I already have the validate method so I can call it validate and I want to validate the result web element and it should say you double click the button now after right click let me put another thread dot sleep here and another thread dot sleep after double click now the case is complete let me save it compile it to see if there are any errors or not and run the case so this time in case execution what should happen is that it should click on menu 3 item 2 then it should right click on the result element and double click on the button I have already shown you the menu item click so let me show you right click and double click so here is a right click on the result element this complete element is the result element in the center it has right clicked it and it has double clicked on the button because here we can see you double clicked the button I hope that you learned how to perform mouse hover in Selenium WebDriver Java using Selenium mouse movement methods. Please like this Selenium tutorial. Also view all my Selenium tutorials. You will learn Selenium with practical examples that I have shown in my Selenium training. These Selenium videos start from the Selenium tutorial for beginners. Thank you.